Hello everyone, my name is Lim Wen Yue, my group member and I choose Padini Holding Perha and Bonia Corporation Perha for our group assignment. Organizational Context Padini Holding Perha is a Malaysia-based investment holding company. Padini Holding Perha provides many kinds of products such as maternity wear, children's garment, ancillary products as well as both men and ladies shoes and accessories. Padini Holding Berha produces fashion products for customer and it is focused on trendy as well as from fitting work workwear looks. The product that are offered by Padini Holding Berha will be exported to mainly Southeast Asian and Middle East countries. The store and outlet of Padini Holding Berha are spread around Malaysia nowadays. The target customer of Padini Holding Berhad are men and women who age between 18 to 35 years old. Pony Corporation Berhad was mainly focused in fashion marketing, retailing and manufacturing in branded leather goods. Pony Corporation Berhad has provided fashion and highly quality footwear, leatherwear and accessories for women and men. Pony Corporation Berhad expand its growth market of Malaysia and Singapore to a few other Asian countries. Bonnet Corporation Berhad has 883 sales outlet and 103 boutique around the world, which are in China, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, Taiwan, and Thailand. The target market of Bonnet Corporation Berhad is middle income group who are focused on trendy product and like prestige image products. Bonnet Corporation Berhad offers a lot of product for the range of age 20 to 45 years old. To find how liquid is the organization, we should use current ratio. To find current ratio, we should use current asset divided by current liability. The current ratio of Padini Holding Berhad was increased from 3.92 in 2019 to 4.01 in 2020. This means that the liquidity of Padini Holding Berhad was higher in 2020 compared to 2019 and Padini Holding Berhad was more capable to pay its bill on time in 2020 compared to 2019. The current ratio of Bonia Corporation Berhad was decreased from 3.06 in 2019 to 2.7 9 in 2020. This means that the liquidity of Bonia Corporation Perhaps was lower in 2020 compared to 2019, and the ability of Bonia Corporation Perhaps to pay its bill on time was decreased in 2020 compared to 2019. To solve the problem, which is are the manager generating an adequate operating profit on the organization asset? We should use operating return on asset. The formula for operating return on asset is operating profit divided by total asset. Padini holding perhaps operating return on asset was 23% in 2019 and it decreased to 10% in 2020. Although the operating return on asset decreased in 2020, the operating return on asset is considered good as it is more than 5% and Padini holding perhaps is efficient in generating profit. The operating return on asset of Bonia Corporation perhaps will decrease from 9% from 8% in 2019 to 3% in 2020. Bonia Corporation perhaps is efficient in generating profit in 2019 as the operating return on asset was more than 5% but it is no sufficient in generating profit in 2020 as the operating return on asset is net less than 5% and more assets are involved in generating profit. To solve the problem, which is how is your organization financing the asset, we should use debt ratio. The formula for debt ratio is total debt divided by total asset. Padini Holding perhaps finances 23% of its asset by debt in 2019 and 77% by equity. In 2020, Padini Holding Perhat finances 45% of its asset by debt and 55% by equity. Bonia Corporation Perhat finances 26% of its asset by debt in 2019 and 74% by equity. In 2020, Bonia Corporation Perhat finances 32% of its asset by debt and 68% by equity. To solve the problem, which is, are the manager generating a good return on equity? We should use return on equity. The formula for return on equity is net income divided by total common equity. 
owners of Hadini Holding Perha received a lower return which was 70% in 2020 compared to 94% in 2019. This is because the operating return on asset in 2020 is lower than 2019. Owner of Bonia Corporation Perha received a lower return which was 49% in 2020 compared to 63% in 2019. This is because the operating return on asset in 2020 is lower than 2019. Besides, there are some success factors and risks that might affect current and future performance. Bardini Holdings Prahat will have better capitalize on financial factors when they focus on trendy and form-fitting workers look. Bardini's brand is a kind of monopolistic competition. Most of other companies will compete with Bardini in terms of size or quality of product they produce. This is to regain customer trust and loyalty. This event will lead to brevity and tricks Bardini in fashion industry. Even though there are many producers that produce, offer products that are similar in the same market as Padani, but Padini brands is differentiated from one another, such as quality and hands are not perfectly substitute. Whereas, Bologna Corporation Berhard focus on capitalization by expanding their market. Starting from 1981 until 20, 2007, Bologna opened many boutiques across the world, and their first boutique was established in Singapore, followed by a boutique in Vietnam, Malaysia, Japan, Thailand, and have total of 700 plus minus boutiques across Asia. Bologna Corporation Brahat produced men's and women products good by using a high quality leather. The quality of rope material used by Bonia helped it gain reputation and trusted by customers. Modern, elegant and contemporary was priority prioritized three main value of Bonia. They give lifetime polishing service to their customer and use online media platform to communicate with their customers. But the new holding Brahad sales team is too slow in the progress. The lead time of Badani Holdings Brahad is longer than its competitor as such as Zara and H&M. The competitor new design are faster than Badini Holding Brahad. The satisfaction of customer towards Badini Holding Brahad product is reduced as the product that are provided but it do not different when the customer visit their stores in a certain period of a few time. But the new holding Braha takes around two or six months from design to delivering to finish a new product launch launching. Customer taste and preference are fasting fast changing in fashion. For Bonia Corporation Braha takes a long time compared to its competitor to release new products. Bonia Corporation is very slow in adapting to change of the fashion trend. It's also the followers of the fashion trend, but sometimes it is unable to catch up the trend. Coach as well as Charles and Kit are the competitors that are able to catch up and adapt to the latest fashion trend. There has many projections for Padini Holding Perha and Bonia Corporation Perha. The projections for Padini Holding Perha are Padini Holding Perha will be more capable of paying off its debts in the future. The profit that Padini Holding Perha generates by using the money that is invested by shareholders will decrease in the future. And Padini Holding Perha may face high risk in the future. The projections for Bonia Corporation Perha are the ability of Bonia Corporation Perha to pay off its debts will decrease in the future. The profit that Bonia Corporation Perha generates by using the money that is invested by shareholders will decrease in the future, as well as the risk faced by Bonia Corporation Perha will increase in the future. 
There has many recommendations for Padini Holding Perha and Ponya Corporation Perha. The recommendations for Padini Holding Perha are although Padini Holding Perha is credited that it can pay off its debt in the future, it also should sell all the unnecessary fit assets in the company to increase is current asset to prevent the matter from being unavailable to pay off the immediate debts. Padini Holding perhaps should decrease the number of workers to produce the products by using technology as well as Padini Holding perhaps should find more new investors in their business. The recommendations for Ponya Corporation perhaps are Ponya Corporation perhaps should increase shareholders' fund. Ponya Corporation perhaps should buy the materials to produce the products from suppliers who can give them discount and lower prices. As well as to reduce that, Ponya Corporation perhaps should sell its share of the business to new investors to raise money.